Hello guys, I'm Devraj again with a new tutorial. In our last character rigging tutorial, I have shown you how you can rig a character in open tunes by using a combination of frame by frame drawing, parenting columns and using plastic tools. Now this time, I'm gonna give you a few more tricks and tips that's gonna help you rigging a character more efficiently. This tutorial is gonna be about different ways to join columns how you can join by using the hook tool, the column center and plastic joints to get a better rig. By the way, if you haven't seen my earlier tutorial about character rigging in open tunes, you should check out that one first. And this is an advanced tutorial, so you have got to know the basics before following this one. So let's get started. So in our first example, just to show you how hook tool works, I have created a simple animation by using the powerful in between tools of open tunes. And I have created three more columns with three different shapes. Now in this column, I have created this little figure. I'm gonna use the plastic tool just to create a cycle of simple mesh deformation animation. And for this other column, let's say column 4, I'm just positioning the center of this column of the bottom of the shape. And for the last column, column 5, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And now from the menu bar, I'm gonna use the hook tool. And I'm gonna create 3 hook joints in the 3 corner of the triangle. And you can see with the animation how OpenTune does a perfect job of tracking those 3 points with the animation of the column. Now if we go to the schematic view, we can see all the columns of our scene. And let's click on the switch output display mode. Now all we have to do is parent these columns. Now watch it very carefully. I am parenting this mesh column to this main column. But after we leave it, you can see if you hover over these A, B icons, you can get smaller up and down indicators. And if you drag them, what you're gonna get is the numbers of those hook points. Let's say if I make it 1, the mesh is gonna be parented with that particular hook joint. Now if you select the mesh column and the plastic tool, what we're gonna see that those plastic joints also have their separate numbers. So the root joint is number 1. And I want to join this number 1 root joint to that number 1 hook joint of our parent column. So Again, if we hover over of this B input, we can again get those indicators and we can determine the port number of that particular column. And we could have chosen any number of the plastic bone joints. And you can see the column will snap to that particular joint with that hook one joint. And after doing that, you can also reposition the column if you need it. Now again, I will join this column 4 to our main parent column and this time I will select the second hook joint. Don't worry about the position if it's not showing at the right place. That's only because we have to replace the center and the position of that column. And for the third column, what I'm gonna do is instead of joining that column's center, I'm going to create another hook point in that column. So this time we are going to join a hook point to a hook point and this is going to be the third point so i'm going to change it to number three in the output port and for the columns input i'm going to change it to number one which is determine the position of that hook point in that column so what we can see now in this example I have jointed a hook point with a plastic joint, a hook point with a column center and a hook point with another hook point of another column. Now we can also reposition the hooks after the parenting and transform the position of those columns and even animate them. Now if we hit play, we can see all the columns are attached to the exact hook point of the parent column. So that's why OpenTune is amazing. Now let's say in this example, with these three different hand columns, for the upper arm and the lower arm, I'm going to add the plastic mesh in it. And I'm gonna build simple plastic bone joints.
and you can see they are moving completely independently from each other as they are not parented yet. So now let's go to the schematic view and let's start parenting. Again we are gonna change to display output port mode and I'm gonna connect this lower arm to the upper arm and I'm gonna change the port number to the second joint of that upper arm. And then by using the edit tool, I'm going to reposition the column. So if you select the plastic tool now, if I move the joint of the upper arm, the lower arm also moves with it. Now in our last character rigging tutorial, those upper and lower arms was moving completely independently from each other. So when we are animating, there was a gap in between those joints and that's how you can fix it. Now what I have to do is join this hand column to this lower arm and again I am going to connect to the second plastic bone joint of that column and reposition the column again and as you can see now the hand column is also repositioning with the deformation of the lower arm and not only deformation we can also use the edit tool and transform their values as well so it's a really useful trick for character rigging. Now in our last character rigging tutorial, I have shown you a way to create plastic mesh joints which is completely independent from each other. There is no hierarchy as the root joint is outside of the shape. So let me show you how you can connect different joints in this scenario. As you can see, those joints are completely independent for each and every column. Now what we can do while we are connecting this B to this A port, we can again hover over and change the numbering of the port joint to number 4 as the elbow joint was the fourth joint of that column and for the input of the lower arm it's the second joint of that column so all i have to do is change the import port too and now you can see though all the joints are completely independent you can change the upper arms joint and the lower arm will also be connected with that and you can see the second joint of the lower arm is completely attached with the fourth joint of the upper arm and you can reposition the centers of the columns and you can also transform them and there is another thing you can do is instead of connecting it to that second joint of the lower arm what you can do is you can connect with the root joint which is going to be number one and if you do that and reposition the columns position what's gonna happen is it's gonna work the same way but also you can modify the joints independently so it completely depends on what you are looking for and let's say though in this hand joint we can just connect the column center with the lower arms plastic bone joint now for this hand column we can simply connect the column center with the bone joint but let's say instead of doing that we have a hook joint in that column just to show you you can also do that so let's create few extra joints for no reason and we are gonna connect this column with this fourth joint so let's connect it and change it to number four and for the hand let's change it to number one that's gonna give us the exact position that we needed and we could have also changed the joint to let's say number 2 or number 3 if you would have needed that. So as you can see we have got a perfect join of those different columns. And let's say in this example from our earlier tutorial the problem we had is there was no connection between these joints. let's say for example this shoulder joint so to create a joint what I'm is connect the upper arm with the shoulder and then again gonna change the input and output ports with the right number of those joints and we're gonna reposition them by using the edit tool now we have a perfect joint 
between those two columns so now when we are changing the deformation of the body column the position of the hand also get changed with it and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other arm too gonna connect the input and the output port with the right bone joint and that's how we can get a perfect joint of our rigged character Now let's say in this example we are deforming the lower arm and the hand column is also connected to the second joint and the position of the column is moving accordingly. But we cannot change the rotation of the hand column and there is a way you can also change the rotation of the hand column by using the same plastic bone tool without selecting the hand column and rotating it. So let me show you how to do that. Let's create another bone joint and change the name of the joint to let's say wrist now let's go to the function editor and if you select that hand layer which is column 22 and select the rotation value of that column it's gonna appear on our function editor and let's select the first empty cell and in the interpolation window by selecting in this drop down menu let's select the option expression now we are gonna use a simple expression that's gonna connect those two columns together. So we have to type vertex open bracket. Now the lower arm is the column 10 which is this one. So let's type 10 comma quote wrist which is the name of the joint that we wanna rotate unquote let's close the bracket and type dot angle and if you hit apply what's gonna happen this expression is gonna create a connection between those columns so if we go to the animate mode and select that wrist joint now we can rotate the hand column though we haven't selected that column and we don't need to select that column anymore and also if we need we can change to different drawings of the hands from our level strip by simply entering the different number of different drawings and while doing so we can also reposition and deform the lower arm column by the way only downside of this trick i cannot reset the position of that new joint so i haven't found any solution of this yet but it gets the job done for us so this is another trick if you may want to use in your project and there is also another way to rig a character so this time i'm gonna go really fast and just gonna give you a simple demonstration how you can do it at first let all those columns spread apart from their joint and let's hide the head columns and if you select all the columns of the different body parts and select columns from the exit menu what is going to happen is it's gonna create a subsheet with all those different columns and let's rename it body and we are gonna apply a plastic mesh in it and we can select all the different columns of the head and also create a subsheet of them you know just to make it simple and now we are gonna build a simple bone joint on that subsheet body column and you can see how I am connecting those empty joints together now after creating all the joints what we can do by going to the animate mode we can bring those joints on top of each other and if you have some issues with the overlapping of those different body parts what you can do is you can select those joints and by going to its stacking order you can change them to let's say 1 or 0 or 2 let's say in this joint I know the lower arm is gonna be on top of the upper arm so I'm gonna select the joint of the lower arm and change the stacking order to 1 and and by doing so we can connect all the joints and we can get a deformation of our rigged character and as I've shown you earlier we can connect those hand columns with the right joint of the body and this is another way you can create a character rig in open tunes And at the end let me show you also one more trick of the bone tool that I have not shown you earlier. So we have a simple end character and those hands are drawn frame by frame in a level strip. So now if we select the bone tool and go to the animate mode as we know we can select any column and transform them. But there is one more useful use of the bone tool. If you select in a column which contains more than one drawings 
you can select that column you will see the name of the label strip and if you go to the top of the name you can hover over and drag it and you are going to get all the different drawings from that label strip so you don't even need to import those drawings one by one or changing numbers in Excel. so this bone tool is very useful while animating a character you can also watch my earlier tutorial advanced animation and compositing in open tunes so i hope this tutorial was helpful to you and thanks for all the support for my earlier tutorials please watch it and share it with your friends if you like it and also watch all the ads to support me and that's gonna boost me up to create new tutorials again thanks a lot for watching goodbye